Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. And today's video, we're going to talk about some tips on how to reduce the emotional stress of trading. Basically, how to trade without being fearful or greedy or having any of these issues. Make sure you stick all the way to the end because there's actually a lot of gems and a lot of things you may not have known that can reduce any feelings of emotions that you have while you're trading or when you're in trades. The whole purpose of doing that is so that way you are able to stick to your trading plan and you don't veer off your trading plan whatsoever because that's what matters most when it comes down to trading. So without further ado, we're going to dive into it real quick though. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to learn, if you want to become a consistently profitable trader faster. My goal on this channel is just to share how I trade and how I've learned to become a profitable trader so that way you can speed up your process. First thing is to actually go ahead and change the color of the candles. So if your chart has green and red on it, uh, green is associated with good and then red is associated with bad. Um, these are just psychological things that is actually a factor. If you can search up human psychology, um, we do see red as danger or bad, and we do see green as good. And uh, it's just because of the way we're conditioned. So if you want to remove that, because you know you might be in a short and it's going down, so the candle's red, but that's good for you, right? You just don't want these things to play with your head, right? So um, I actually change the uh, sell candles to a dark gray and then the buying candles to a white it's like a light gray and again just takes away any color any pressure so that way there's nothing emotional attached right because green is associated with money and red is associated with danger so you don't want the colors to have any factor um the second thing i do with that is i make the background black and that that's just so it's easier on my eyes and again this all just makes everything easier right the goal of trading is just to make sure that everything else is very easy so that way there's nothing else to take away from just the, the pure act and the thinking uh, behind taking the trades and following the trading plan so um, to do that you can just double click on the candle and then you see body borders and wick you can click on the color and then change the color for the uh, buying candles and then change the color for the selling candles and then you can also change the background as well uh, just by right clicking on it the second thing is actually to go ahead and uh, set up your chart. If you only have one monitor, then it's good to do this. If you have two monitors, you don't have to do this, but um, I highly suggest having multiple time frames on your screen so you can see them all at all times. This makes you less hesitant and less reactionary because you're able to see the candles forming on multiple time frames. I might have a total of four time frames open um, at maximum. Uh, as an example, I might have, let's say there's a one minute on the right, there's a five minute here, then I might have the 15 minute and the four hour. I might be just looking at all these on one ticker, right, on NASDAQ, and I'm watching them form and move so I can see if we're coming into four hour order blocks or if we're, if we're sweeping any, you know, 15 minute liquidity or one minute liquidity, whatever it is. I have two to four time frames open. Uh, I have two monitors, right? So I, I have two monitors with two tabs like this, and I can just see all of the time frames. So that way I know exactly what's happening on all time frames. And then that allows me to execute with less hesitation because I can see the candles forming on multiple things. I don't have to, I don't have to flip through and check uh, and second guess anything because I can just see it all and it can all click in my brain once I see everything unfold the way it needs to unfold for me to execute. Third thing to do to reduce emotions in trading is to go ahead and back test and trade in real time. And what I mean by this is you use something like FX replay. That's what I'm on right now. I'm not on trading view. This is FX replay. And if you don't know what this is, I talked about some plenty of videos. It's a back testing software that allows you to trade in real time and, and put your trading skills to the test. And I'll, I'll, I'll give an example of that. So if you can see um, at the top, I can change how fast this moves. Um, so let's say I want it to move uh, every minute and I go to like a few times so that way it moves basically one minute uh, every second or less than a second. So you can see it unfolding right now and let's say I'm like all right I want to trade if we pull back right. Um, go ahead and just on the screen put in a long position and let's say I just put in a long position here. So let's say okay any little pullback here I'm going to put my stop below this one minute swing low and I want a sweep of the highs, right? So it's a one to one. Um, I because market structure is bullish, we just went bullish. So I want to see this little pullback to get me in, stop below the one minute swing low, target the highs. I press place order and it's on limit order, it's a buy. So it automatically has the stop loss and take profit and I chose to have an account balance of $100. So then I can just say I'm going to risk 2% this trade. That's my risk, 2% of the initial balance. So I'm risking $2 to make $2 essentially on this trade. As you can see, all of this right here, take profit, stop loss, buy. It's just automatically populated from this. And then we press save, boom, it's on the screen. And then I'm going to press play again and let it play out in real time. 
uh, because I see a setup, I pause the price action, I put the order on, and then I just let it play out and I see what happens. We push away, we don't get filled, but maybe it'll come back and tag us in. Doesn't come back, doesn't tag us in. Right. Okay, okay, we'll try again, we'll try again. So, um, let's say we just let it play out. We want to look for another opportunity. Uh, boom, okay, we get a nice pullback into this five minute fair value gap. So, we're just going to enter in long because we uh, were bullish and we came down to this fair value gap. So, what we'll do now is I'll just put this on the screen. And this time, since I just want to enter now, I'll have my stop below this one minute uh, swing low and this five minute swing low, and I'll target the highs. Since this is my uh, trade, now it's like a two, three, two to one, I'm going to place order. I'm going to press place order. And this time, I'm going to do uh, buy market because I just want to get in right now. So buy market, uh, risk is going to be 2%. Same thing, right? So now you can see my estimated loss is $1.80, but my estimated profit is 3.6, which is a 2 to 1 R, and that's what's on the screen there. Automatically, boom, press place order. As soon as you press play, we'll be filled. Boom, we're in the trade, and you can see the floating profit and loss here. And we're just going to watch and see if we get stopped out or if it goes to take profit. And you can slow it down to make it even more realistic, so that way you can feel the emotions of trading. And the beauty of this is you can start back as far as you want. So you can go back two years, three years. After going back two or three years, you can say have a, a 50,000. Oh, we got stopped out. Let me pause it real quick. You can say you start with a $50,000 account balance. And then all you're doing is you're just letting it play out. And you're going to take the trades live. Let it hit stop loss or take profit. And you're going to do this for months. Like I just did one trading day. Let's say I'm done here. I did one trading day and I lost uh, 2%. I think I was risking 2%. Yeah, lost 2% of the account. You can take a picture of it, save the trade, and then you can skip to, I can skip one hour at a time and go to the next trading day. So I'll just skip, 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 skip. Um, start at like 9 a.m. Boom. I'll have some thesis. I'll formulate some thesis as if I'm going to trade for real. And then I'll switch this back to one minute. And then I'll start it. And I'll say, okay, you know, uh, we're bullish. I want us to come back into this uh, five minute fair value gap. I'm just going to watch and see what happens though. So the whole point of this is to show that you can refine your skills and this is how you remove or reduce the emotions you feel in a trade because you've done months or years of trading as if you know you're actually taking the trades in real time before seeing the future that's the proper way to back test and then you at the end of those months and years you see like oh i have a 67 percent win rate uh 1.5 r um, and i did this all on here so now let me just do it in the live markets that's the way to back test. That's the way to reduce your emotions. And that's how you're going to be a profitable trader far faster. Uh, instead of just trading all real money or proper money before you've even done this step, right? You need to make sure you have a profitable edge, not just a profitable edge, but a profitable edge that you have traded. And you can trade it by using this back testing software called FX Replay. Final tip to reduce your emotions is all about managing size. That's at the end of the day, it comes down to managing size and, and managing a number of trades. Right, you won't get emotional if you have a size small enough that is insignificant to your future. And if you're just taking one or two trades, you won't completely drain that mental capital. Um, if you take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten trades, or if you get into over trading, revenge trading, um, then you'll start to have these issues where your emotions are playing a huge role. But you'll notice that I've noticed I never get emotional if I take one loss in one day. Um, I notice I feel a little something after two losses in a day. So if I take two losses back to back in the same day, um, I do feel a little something. And after that, um, I could get into some over trading. Let's say I take a third trade after two losses. If that one's a loss, it's happened to me so many times. Like I'm trading to get it back. I'm just taking trades that aren't even in my setup. So uh, usually, honestly, I stop after one trade, but sometimes max two trades. And I do feel a little something like I could trade and my emotions could get the better of me after taking two losses. So. If you just take one or two trades max every single day, like it is, no matter what, you are not allowed to take a single entry after two entries. I promise you, you will have far less of an issue with your emotions. And if you're managing size and you're using risk that is okay to be lost, let's say 1%, 2%, or if you're trading a prop firm and you're, again, you're trading 1%, 2%, um, you won't get the emotions. You won't have those issues. So make sure you're doing that managing size and managing number of trades for a day and you're gonna be well off to making sure that your emotions do not get the better of you. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you appreciated these tips and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Again, I post two videos a week helping you become a consistently profitable trader. 
Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate all your support and I'll see you in the next video.